Hello dear friend. I hope this message finds you well today. I'm going to be sharing a reading with you. The name of the reading is Where Choices Lead. The Lord watches over the way of the righteous. Psalm 1-6. With no cell service and no trail map, we had just our memory of a fixed map at the trailhead to guide us. More than an hour later, we finally emerged from the woods into the parking lot. Having missed the turnoff that would have made for a half-mile hike, we took a much longer trek. Life can be like that. We have to ask not simply if something is right or wrong, but where it will lead. Psalm 1 compares two ways of living, that of the righteous, those who love God, and that of the wicked, the enemies of those who love God. The righteous flourish like a tree, but the wicked blow away like chaff. This psalm reveals what flourishing really looks like. The person who lives it out is dependent on God for renewal and life. So how do we become that kind of person? Among other things, Psalm 1 urges us to disengage from destructive relationships and unhealthy habits and to delight in God's instruction. Ultimately, the reason for our flourishing is God's attentiveness to us. The Lord watches over the way of the righteous. Commit your way to God, let him redirect you from old patterns that lead to nowhere, and allow the scriptures to be the river that nourishes the root system of your heart. Dear Jesus, we ask that you give us the grace to turn away from the things leading us down the wrong paths, lead us to the river of your presence, and nourish us with the scriptures. Make our lives faithful and fruitful for your honor. Psalm 1 Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Thank you for joining me today, my friend, and talk with the King, and be blessed.